I wandered the boneyard aimlessly, the stench utterly unbearable. My sword was clenched tightly in my hand. I had to be ready to strike at any moment. I knew not of what had caused such devastation for the elders. They had not been able to tell me, even their ancient knowledge failing them. In the great distance, I heard the cracking of bone, and I knew something was ahead. I moved swifter, but maintained caution, not knowing what fate would befall me. As I climbed a steep slope of skeletal remains, I peered over and saw the carcass of a tremendous black elephant, recently slain. Its blood pooled around it. And towering over it was another elephant, this one even more ancient in appearance, its hide scarred, and one of its tusks snapped off. It had seemingly murdered its brother by sheer force of will, an eternal titan of death, left with nothing more to devour. It reached down to its brother's fallen form, and with a ferocity I had never witnessed in a pachyderm, it peeled the flesh and fat from the fallen one with its teeth, the trunk tenderizing that which remained, peeling little tags off it. It was grotesque and fascinating to watch. I moved my arm slightly to get a better position, and next to me a femur shifted slightly, the bone pile moving. I ducked out of the way to avoid its gaze, for I knew that the beast's powerful ears would notice. I waited for merest moments for any sign that it had returned to its sickening feast. But what I heard next was a deep sniffing. The trunk that was so superfluous to the feeding frenzy was now its greatest weapon. It knew I was here. The elephant's colossal footfalls were like miniature earth shocks, its giant nose taking huge gulps of air at a time. I knew it would find me eventually. If I moved, it would hear the shake of bone. If I waited, it would bring all hell upon me. Better to die a warrior, then. I lifted myself up, crying out in its direction. The cannibal elephant peered up, and I saw it had only one eye, yellowed and sickly, but filled with hideous single-mindedness. I was to be its next meal. It let out a bellow that shook heaven and earth, and I, sword in hand, cried back, running swiftly down the bone pile of centuries of monstrous feasting to see which of us would be left as king of the boneyard. <laughs>